Hello, hi. So, yes, uh, thank you very much for here. So, first and foremost, um, this session, it kind of drags a bit. There's certain parts in here. Um, I had a very sore head, very sore shoulders and such. i uh, breaking in new glasses and also doing some gardening. So, I was in pain from, like, the shoulders up. I do a lot of repeating myself, and those repetitions are also contradictions. The part I pick up on that pretty quickly. So, yeah, uh, that comes on. The session is a bit short and a bit slower and a bit sluggish as a result. I do apologise. Anyway... Um, after this session, we now move on to back into some main story once more. This sort of main story section is going to be a case where there's also going to be the side content put in there. Side content should total probably about 12 episodes and it will be in bulk. Uh, we're going to start with Hidden Shrine of Tomotion. We will then move on to uh, White Plume Mountain and then Demon Queen Awakens to kind of tie it all in before we finish up the Northern Waste section and get to the final part of this um from there there will be an announcement coming soon in regards to our next campaign that is already in prep and um, we'll see who's joining us for that so until then guys enjoy not bust because we will 100 percent of rg and if we don't um i'll just play melano or Baralis. i'll give you guys your pick as to who i play because you know i have been a cleric and i have been a sorcerer and no, no, I've been a, a ranger, and I've been a sorcerer. I won't entry. I won't play a character that's supposed to be getting introduced. Very simple. I, uh, I will ask. Yeah. Uh, is this one of those situations where if we go in with like not a full party or not a like a semi full party, are we gonna die? We're gonna die horribly. I don't want to say yes, and I don't want to say no because most of the <laughs> most of the encounters that I have, so I'll, I'll interrupt most of the encounters. Are that like they're there, and the minimum player, the minimum things you could ever get in the encounter, is gonna be two. Mhm. Mm and honest to God, like if you if you if, if you get two right, if you if you get an encounter, there's like mm. two things on it. Like you cracking? I I'd be like if I, if I gave you like you know a a, a a boat if I give you a boat coming up and it's like ah you see a captain. And one other person on this boat. And they turned round and went, Give us all your shit. Uh, You're not gonna give them all your shit. That's fair. That's fair. We're, I like, we it's, had a crew as well. Uh, everything's rolled for. If it's if it's a boat, it's the boat is its thing, but then the crew is always gonna be one captain, so that's the only like that's the solid. Everything else is like, you know, one captain and then one D, like it's like one D twelve, but it's like fucking trash mobs. I'm not gonna be. Oh yeah, here have eight red wizards of say, because fuck you. <laughs> they all like the sea for some reason. Oh, but yeah, we're having the dark. That's right. Um, I'm just looking through it. Yeah, eights, eights, fours. Yeah. 100% you, you wouldn't die with four, I guess. And that's, that's not me like, oh, no, that's, that's like... I made it fair and fun. Alright, alright. As for Krakens, who knows? Right. But what? Ye. We. See. Uh, right, I guess I'm playing Melano. I'm just going to roll a d4 and that's whatever I feel. This few weeks, Melano has felt... Two. So it's Melano felt. Face step. Winter. Fuck. I mean, hey, someone did just die. That's different. You had a whole party there. It makes sense to be Sag. She said three <laughs> weeks of mourning, alright? <laughs> She wasn't even this depressed when Epson died. I don't even know who that is. The reason you were all in Vogler. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this man's forgetting 13 sessions. It's alright. It's okay. So, let's see, uh, last where we left off. Ah, uh, we had some fun in Castle Calaman, to say the least. Uh, party had been out fighting when they came back castle was quiet eerily quiet 
in it. They firstly had found a few dead ghosts. A few unnancy dead ghosts, because that's an ox. <laughs> ghosts are dead. <laughs> they found a few uh, men dressed in the old Knights of Salamnia get up. They soon realised that they were dead and beat the ever shit out of them before going inside and finding this specimen of a man with the charisma off the charts telling people that, you know, surrender now, blah, 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 blah. This is my place, me and Lord Soth. Um, kicked his ass, well and truly, no questions asked. Um, weren't too sure what happened next, but, you know, he's definitely tried to kill this guy. Tried to slit his throat. Uh, Rev will get possessed with it, however, and without too long to think. Uh, this ghostly woman came running through saying, oh, oh, hold on, hold on, guys, hold on. Um, you know, downstairs there's a big problem. You should probably go and sort that out. The party went down the stairs where they got the visions of fire that told the story of Lord Soth. As they followed through after a few fights and Exodus getting a horsey boon, um, they saw the man, the legend, the myth, one Lord Lauren Soth in the, I want to say flesh, but, you know... They watched as he took his staff and they started hearing banging as he bust open the wall and just on his own little way. From the banging, they all got very close to this um, this huge dragon and a sarcophagus. And with it came out this man's who was very clearly being possessed. Sarlamir being told what to do by Lord Soth. He definitely did not want to be... He didn't want to be doing what he was doing, and he tried to make that very clear, but unfortunately the party had to beat him. Um, it was at this time, Revel also then attacked Melano, which really caused a bit of confusion. Whereas Renard and Bryn went at Sarlamir, everyone else went at Revel. As soon as Revel went down, the ghost of one Caradoc came sprinting through and that's when the party realised they kind of killed the wrong guy but it was too late now as Caradoc tried to possess and fight everyone else unfortunately Renard went down first in doing so it left well, Renard went down first then Renard went down second it left Bryn to fight off the Ghost, that did not go well, and Bryn went down, which then left us with Boralus, Exodus, and Melano. Well, they tried their hardest, but then Boralus went down, leaving Exodus and Melano. Exodus hanging on a dear life with nothing else going for him, invoked his god, and started getting sprinty fast. He only just survived. By the skin of his teeth, survived. And... Unfortunately, Bryn didn't. As they rested up, headed back upstairs, the rest of the war council were back and the party gave their news. In the corresponding three weeks since, um, it's not been good for the party, shall we say. Throughout the first week, there were vicious, vicious rumours spread by one Lord Bacaris. He's all know him. He's all love him. He's only recently lost his son, but he's still a toxic bastard. <laughs> he is... became... unpopular. With it... Let's run the next three weeks. Bryn, uh, let's say Bryn, uh, RJ is currently on a bus right now, so hopefully it shouldn't be too long. But 
in terms of how things be in the modest ways. Marshal Vendry. Vendry had been working to maintain order in Calaman, given a shift in power now. She's been trying to, trying to, you know, bring everything back to how it was. And that user is all brought to the meeting room, cleared of all its death, decay and debris quite late at night. Two forty-five. I don't know what two thirty is in EST. Well, it's one. So yeah, okay, about an hour. Give it an hour fifteen. Cool. Yeah, I can run that. It'll be fun. <laughs> Let's use all. Enter into the small room. It's been claimed now by Marshal Vendy, and was left of the War Council. The room now just covered in its table with its reports. You can see as Marshal Vendry seems to be looking out the window that the map maker didn't put in but that's okay. <laughs> She's Looking out, gazing off towards the horizon. As you look around, the place is very much somber. People are still trying to get over what's happened. It's dark and it places a leaflet on the table, or a letter as such. The army has headed to the northern wastes, splitting off once again. What would you have us do? Ms. Vendry kind of keeps on looking. I... I can only apologise for everything that's happened here. We... We tried as best we could to keep everything from happening. But... We were... Too late. We put our trust in cell swords, and whilst yes, I trust you, everyone in this room trusts you. There are people out there who don't and trust you and we can't win back their trust I want to make it clear that everything you hear from outside these walls is a result of one man who holds too much power and not enough wisdom. He has turned the city against you. You recently spoke to me and gave me the information of what happened down there and everything you saw. We have made arrangements for both bodies to be sent off. One 
by sea and one by land. Use will be joining the body by sea. It is unfortunate that we have to give up a large portion of our strength here. But you do understand that we do this for use and not for ourselves. <clears throat> I, we don't want you to think that we are throwing use to the wolves. You have leads that you can discover on your own right now. And I will be sending Darrett along with you. As far as anyone is concerned, you are exiled from the city. Hmm. You are not, but for the sake of some egos and to let things die, everyone is unfortunately convinced by someone that you have done the deed. No one believes in a 300 year old zombie doing all of this. Are there any questions or such you wish to ask before we continue? I hear your apology, and I find it laughable that you allow a rabble rouser to create such turmoil in the village, in the city, without doing anything about it, and yet you're willing to turn your back on us instead and ship us out when you need our help the most. And rebel's going to get up uh, from his seat uh go like on the table and say what the knights said that's bullshit you're gonna let the cars oh wait I can't, I can't say i'm sorry i don't know him but oh yeah somebody who's come into the city from somewhere else raised chaos i i've heard about this group before i joined it they, 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 and she, he's gonna walk out of the room. Which door? There's three. This one here. This <laughs> uh, would also speak up and say. So you open the door and look out. You see standing, smugly, by the other door, one. Lord of the cars. Door slam Exodus. You would uh you would also go to stand and say we have done more for everyone in a matter of days than that plump bastard has ever done in his entire life. Our friends have died. Many people have died by the hands of that man. Even the first time I've met him, he fled the city first while we stayed behind and got people to safety. I will not personally let his ego stand. And I will teach him a lesson if I need to. I understand your concerns. And whilst it, yes, it does feel like we are throwing you by the wayside. 
that is most certainly not the case. If something were to happen in the city as a result of him, as he blames you firstly for killing his son, which both Darrett and I, we were, we were there. We were there. You showed up when you did. We we're aware of the circumstances as to how you came to be. The general populace is not. And whilst, yes, we could place things in order to do such things, to correct such ego would take away from the current effort that we have to put in place for the war. A court-martial and trial takes time away from troops being trained and from information being gathered. Ultimately, it weakens our defence. Not having you here weakens our defence also. And so, we have elected to send you out to chase the leads that you were given. Because if we actively send you out with a contingent of troops, in the time that you come back, a coup could have been staged. If you stay here, there could be trouble at the doors, which could also lead to another coup. The last thing that we want is to take away from the war effort. As long as one man believes that you have been exiled and his whole plan, whatever it is he feels he will accomplish from this, is put in place, if he feels satiated that he has been avenged in some pitiful way, then that's good for him. For you, however, you are being given a chance to fight the army, rather than t rather than waiting for them to come to us, you, competent as you are, are being allowed to go to the army instead. The one thing that Lord Pacaris did and failed at. He blames you for things that are out of your control. This is where you would be proving yourselves. Not just to him, but to the city. If anything happens to you, if someone attacks you in the street and you lose your temper and attack them back, you fuel his narrative. And it does nothing for your narrative. If we stroke his ego for five minutes, you can do more good under the banner of exiles than you can under the banner of Kalaman. Make no mistakes that you will be given all of our support. He will just have no idea. This isn't us kicking you out. This is us doing what's right and listening to who's right for a change. I can't fight three battles at once here. I must find a new governor. I must repair the damage done by Bacarus. And I have to ready for any potential attack on the city that may come. And if I also have to defend yourselves and your honors against him, and the city. I will be spread too thin. And it is that type of chaos that Bakaris took advantage of with Governor Myatt, rest his soul. 
that got his son killed, and you would think he would learn, but no. He is self-serving, but one day his time will come. That time may be sooner than he thinks. Well, I warn you this. <clears throat> Your inaction does you no favors. Once we're gone, and he doesn't have us to worry about and, and try to turn the populace against us any longer, and you're not. And his ego and his greed and his lust for power will be turned on you. And if you don't get him under control and control and control the narrative with the populace, you're going to find yourself in a worse position than you are today. By not standing up for our honor, you you made a choice. He will feel emboldened, and he will try it again with you. I suggest you get him under control, or get him out of town. Um, I make this to you now. The control that he has will be largely diminished for we will not forget his failed plans. He will be made a public spectacle by that. He will lose his power within the military and be taken down to a mere soldier. He will have no sway in the courts and he will not be brought into the war rooms anymore. He will not be given any precursory information. And any acts that he does after that will be seen as a rogue agent and unsanctioned, which will make him, at this point, eligible to be sentenced without trial and so a smart man would not try anything like that a grieving man may try pull on the heartstrings of the populace but as the populace will be reminded his son died whilst you were in the other side of this of Northland. Yous were at the Wheel Watch outpost with Raven and Darrett. Darrett came back to the city. Darrett left the next day. Yous arrived here a few hours after Darrett had left. And then you left after Darrett in his way. By all accounts, you had no fathomable knowledge as to how or where we were until you were given the information by an anonymous source that we do not care to even remotely investigate. As without you showing, we may not have survived at all. However, Bakaris the Younger was presumed dead hours before you arrived. And we have multiple witnesses who will attest to that at minimum. Which already lands credence to our story and diminishes Bakaris' narrative entirely for that one incident. And from there the cracks will form. Until then, though, we still have to investigate all other claims whilst we do this. And use we should be allowed time to grieve or take care of your debt. I'll grieve the dead as I may, as I can, but we're under too much of a threat to take any longer. 
you wish us to go north or go by sea. Yous will be taken to a boat on the harbour. Um, said boat is not affiliated with the army or the government. It is affiliated loosely with yourselves. There, the captain will take you to the northern wastes or down south. It is your choice where you wish to go, but he will collect from us in the end. We just cannot be seen to be giving you any assistance in leaving for it would just stoke the fires of Bacaris where he would claim that it was an inside job and we were all colluding which would then not turn the city against yourselves but rather the entire government but that would be detrimental were we to be attacked. Oh. I understand. And I will go without any more fuss because it is the right thing to do. Personal images or personal image aside, I use an alias for a reason. And then are we not going to talk about the elephant in the room? No, he's waiting outside. <laughs> elephant outside the room. Uh, he laughed, and then he would uh, he would point to the fucking ghost. They're just sitting at the table that no one has talked about. I was wondering why she was here. Yeah, what's Oh, um, Raven, ah yes, um, this is Leandra, she was a very old friend of Ispen's, um, yes, I knew him for a time. And I also knew of Lord Soth as well. You may not believe it from such a young complexion, but I was there when the world ended 352 years ago. Uh, yeah, no, I believe it. Uh, young complexion or not, you're ghosts. Oddly, a well-behaved one. Is that is that ghostist? He thinks <laughs> for a moment. He says, "All right, when do we leave?" I. We'll give you time. Time to get what you need from throughout the city. And the boat is waiting for however long that you wish to be in the city. However, the longer you are here, the longer the threat may come to yourselves recommend strategizing as to what you need and going from there if you have any questions in regards to anything be it soth related or 
naval related or our plans related um speak to the corresponding member of this council but the boat is at the harbor i believe you know the captain exodus Fuck. Hmm? No? You'd rub, his, you'd rub his face. You really trust that salty lot? <laughs> to get us to and fro? Yes. <laughs> they... They were the only ones who were willing to take anonymous money. Yeah, that, that sounds like them. Uh. I'm just right. very quickly. There we go. You saw things are fucking godsend. <laughs> Jess, is there's anything that you require? Um. We can see what we can get before you go. All rations and ammunition will be handed to you by the quartermaster. Uh, Try to empty all of them. We can really only hope that you resolve your issues soon. And Hopefully by the time you come back, there'll be one less overweight, overbearing, underqualified idiot in the city. Well, I hope for your sake you're right. Mm. But yes, um, until then, and understand I do this only as spectacle but you are hereby exiled from calaman which kind of also winks at uh, yes oh you would <laughs> you would play along you'd be like oh this is bullshit this is complete <laughs> Bullshit! And then he would go to <laughs> walk on out the same way Ravel went. Well, you can you hear that as you watch as Bakara sits there or stands there with this huge shitty eating grin. Is this, yeah, this is the door. That's the door. Do you would, uh, walk it out. <laughs> Walking past Morales, he wouldn't say anything, but he would. No, actually, hold on. <laughs> let me make a let me let me make a roll real quick, a stealth roll. Is that a natural one? That was just a flat D twenty. <laughs> oh, oh. So as Agnes walks by, um, oh seriously, <laughs> he walks by, and. He sees that shit-eating grin on his face, and just for a moment, he has, he disguises himself to that of the corpse of his son. Oh. Just oh. a split oh. second, as he then drops it and walks through the doorway. <laughs> oh, there's levels of salt in there, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not the roll. It, it was higher than a 10, he was going to stop and say... You know, oh, I'm sorry for your loss, even though I don't like you. But <laughs> he, he's like, fuck. You kind of do that. You just kind of disguise it to his face and hair for a little moment. You kind of watch as that shit, and it turns to anger. And he's he's holding back. He knows better that if he goes for you, he's on the bad side. And he grits and... Seeing, seeing that, 
seeing that uh, Revel is going to disguise their voice and do the same thing from <laughs> the this door. Dad! Assholes. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you help me, Dad? Oh my He's like, <laughs> I was just gonna punch him in the shit. He's like, it was funny when I did it. it <laughs> the asshole deserves it. Let's let's just get out of here. Let's just get out of here. I just want to see him round the door for his son. <laughs> oh my god! Fucking cruel. Oh. Yeah, but... um, my son is he still alive? No, it's not. <laughs> Uh, before we get to the ship, though, I will say that, um, for your information, the Exodus was the name that he adopted, uh, after the crew. And the original name. Open what, sorry? Um, uh, Exodus is a name that he acquired after his, uh, after he was on the ship. When he was on the ship, he went by, uh, his name, or his true name, is Malik something that they would they would probably refer to him as? You just got like four names and you roll a D four every time, don't you? I do. Estadius, <laughs> <laughs> Aldrin, Malik, Croden, Exodus. Uh. <laughs> For those of you wish who also wish to know. Malik was a white tiefling warlock. I could, I could change the name. I could change oh, that's the all name. right. So it's, it, it's trust me, I've already got it written down in paper. It's committed. Don't worry. All right. Yeah. I too, I'm allowed to have fun. <laughs> all right. All right. Yes, he's a kind of leave. No, aren't you? Still in this room. It's kind of everyone. Yeah, you're you're smart enough to know that these stern faces are facades. They're not these people aren't actually pissed at you. But you know, they know that a certain fat cunt can see them. Yep. It's like I'm not I'm sorry for your son's loss. On my honor, I'm the best. For the people of Calaman, despite what they may think of me at this point, we will do our best for you and our continued service in the cause against the armies of the Red Dragon Lord. Yeah. Watch as the Northern just go. Just get them out, bitches. <laughs> Make drop. <laughs> oh, this gets draconian longsword drop. Yeah. Gotta get rid of that thing. Maybe I'll sell it. Yeah. I need some. I don't know what I need. I need some full crossbow bolts. I'm about oh, yeah, use all technically, before I forget, it's all technically an extra 150 gold. 150. 50 gold per week. Three weeks. Oh, 50 gold per week? Yeah, it's part of your wages. We Since when? Gold. Since fucking like session. I want to say like session it was five. Five gold. It was five gold. Not 50. No, no, he was right. It was 50. It was, it was definitely. It was <laughs> severance pay, alright? Fuck up. Severance pay. Right, right, we that round that up to an even thousand. <laughs> <laughs> severance pace it's it's 150 is a weird number can we just like do 200 you know I have 150 is a good number 150 is like, like 720 okay um oh by the way Scottish I've seen I've seen this uh thing that you can do on foundry you need to be specific this thing's very customizable uh, there's like a there's like a thing that you can put like bags around, and there's like loot that you can put in them, and like instead of saying this is right here, there's a there's a bag right there, and 
in said bag. It's kind of like what you did with uh, the shop. Oh, yeah. With our favorite merchant. That all broke in V9 when I upgraded to V10, and I've been waiting on a ton of stuff being fixed, but they're now working on V11, so I, I have no idea what's going on, but I'll look in it because I know what you mean. Um, mm -hmm. There's been no bags of holding yet, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, Let's, let's uh, say you get 150 each severance pay because I'm... I don't know. Right, no, we generous. might need money. <laughs> yeah. We might need money on our adventures. I, uh, I, need a, I need my flip token because I'm not going out looking like myself. Why are your flips not working in this segment? Uh, Don't worry, I got you. There you go, mate. There's your flips. I just hadn't had you sorted. I'm Borellis now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, I would say just not to take any more time from the, the session. Um, over the three weeks, um, you can charge how much you want for this, but um, Agassiz would have had the serrated sword that killed Fane melted down into children toys. Small little doohickeys and... Uh, gadgets that he would have uh, disguised himself as a different person but then passed around the people for their families. Um, just little like horses and animal shapes and stuff. Just to, it, just more of a symbolic gesture. Of, yeah, he may have killed Fane but in the end the blade has caused some happiness. Uh, uh, blah, 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 Matt, let's just call it seven gold. Right. Seven's a good number for it. Yep, that's good. But yeah. Where do we wish to go? Anywhere we wish to get things from before we venture forth. Let me check. Uh -huh. Can't buy from the lady because she's like, we don't want you practicing magic anyway. Exactly. So it's actually, hold on. Was it Melano making potions? Or is that... Uh, one time. She didn't say she was doing that this time. Shit. Uh, um, we do... Hey. <laughs> we do need uh, potions of some variety. Um, potentially. But... I don't know where we're going. With, okay, the amount, here. with the amount of money that we have, we can only buy one normal healing potion per person. We gotta go like on like the black market or something, man. I know, I know, the city has a black market somewhere. It has to be. It's gonna. Oh, look! Look at uh, look at Exodus. Like he knows where the black market is. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, I, I was born in a church. <laughs> Never. I mean, I mean, I might used to be a pirate, you know, whisper, but I'm not. You know, you ask me to. You know, find the black market at the sea. I'll find you some, uh, I don't know, some pigeons that'll do some pretty dirty things. Gross. But, uh, no. Uh, I think we might just should get going. Um, we're not welcome here anyway. Um,. Yep, time to get going. Uh, which way is out? That's right, I was going to say use our unlucky door. This is all head on out. Down through the foyer. Down the castle as the sun seems to be ever so lightly setting. 
Where is it? Y'all are off to. Because I'm still waiting on an answer on that one. <laughs> I thought, uh, well, Exodus vote was just to head towards the docks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it depends. Um, would I have been, if I was told to turn in my breastplate that I got from the armor dude, then I would go back to the armor master. Um, to play, get another... We're gonna play that funny like, game where I've said what I've said. Okay. You can okay, turn it as much as you want. I wouldn't turn it in. I'll just set that up to interpretation, because that was not specified, so I'll just say he had it. If it wasn't told to you, you know? Alright. Head on out, walking down through Calaman, down through the streets. There is the the looks that people give you. Some people have heard the rumors. Some people refuse to believe the rumors. Other people very much believe the rumors in their entirety. It's uh, unfortunate. Shall we see? After maybe 30 minutes or so of walking down through the town, you do get to the harbour. So we're at Templar Roll, D100, D please. Alright. Did ask you to do that about three minutes ago, but. Sorry, I, didn't, I did not see that. Sorry. Do you want me to private roll it? Your choice. Alright, I will private roll it just for suspense. <gasps> As you... Oh my fucking head. As you come on down into the harbour. You look around the salt air. See, it seems to get you first. You can smell it. You're used to the smell. It's a forlonged smell. Taste it in there, and as you look around, you don't actually, you don't actually see any, you see anyone that you really know at the moment. The comments made by Revel seem to just, yeah, you'd know a black market vendor if you saw one. You just don't mm -hmm. see one. Mm. You know, this is <laughs> ton of ships are being loaded up now. Mm -hmm. People are working away. Some ships sailing. So, uh, where are we going, guys? North or south? I believe that one right there. And he would point. Uh, is that, is, I assume this is the ship? No, I meant, like, where are we going? Right. North, south. Right, you, you would point to the ship. That's probably docking or preparing or something. Whenever we get on the ship, where are we going? North or south? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we heading south? I'm gonna be, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I was in the same boat as Tipler there, I'm at north or south. Like, where the fuck else are you gonna go? South is back to the city. Right, he's like, why, he's like, I thought those Stop. were our two options, north towards, uh... Northern Wastes. Yep, and south towards Kola Nesti. I mean, I hate to be that guy, but, you know, a dead body is a dead body, and people's lives are on the line, so... Oh. Okay. Um, so, what, what comes next? I don't know what you mean by that. So we board the ship? Okay, board the ship. We board, board the ship. ship. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, it says you look on out. Um... Looking across the 
docks. You don't see any <laughs> way of getting to them. That ship and the way, direction you are going. You do not <laughs> see on the back end of the dock by a small boat. A familiar face. Okay. Uh, go towards him, I guess. Exodus knows familiar face. I'm doing a horrible okay. job at explaining stuff. Yeah. There's a minotaur over there, man. Oh, that minotaur's just there so you know what boat to get on. Okay. Yep. Man, I feel so cringerous. He's <laughs> having the same name. Doesn't even make sense. And the character is based on a <clears throat> character I had called Lucky, so I don't know why I didn't just call him Lucky. Uh, we're good. We're good. I'll see you. Walk on up closer and closer. You see this rather elder gentleman with sort of spectacles and a headband and rather coloured beard. He kind of looks. So you're the one. Guess you couldn't keep your nose clean for too long, then. I uh, just would look down for a second and nod before looking up and saying, Yeah, but it has its silver lining. Old Captain Rainbowbeard. I'm going to see your ugly mug a few times. Maybe share a few drinks, too. The money that they're paying us, um, we'll be sharing cakes, not single drinks. They did, however, pay for the silence, so if you'd like to tell me who is joining us and what to expect upon these rough seas. Hmm. And Agassiz would go down the line, starting with Ravel. He would say, he'd wrap an arm around Ravel's shoulder and say, This person, I honestly just met them, but they seem pretty cool. They seem like a shithead. And then you'd <laughs> give him a, a punch on the shoulder. Um, for going to Melano and say, the Lovely, lovely Melano. Uh, you keep getting Thor my name wrong. What? Melanie. Melly, I'm so lovely, you keep forgetting my name. I said Melly now. This is the first time you've got it right in over three months. <laughs> I'm not... I didn't know. But... Looks at you puzzled. A powerful sorcerer. Magic. <laughs> this man, you're going to put his hands on the, the Reynard's shoulders, is the greatest man I've ever known. <laughs> Honor and noble to a fault. He is constant inspiration for me on the daily basis to improve as a person. Renard of the Knights of Salamnia. Oh. And then he return. Dina looks. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you for your condolence. They've... They've passed by your city. Um, it's not... It's not faring well now, unfortunately. Um, we've come... Speak of Palantis? What? Do you speak of Palantis? Leave the, I'm going to say Salam there. I'm going to say it, but I'm going to pull up the map and check the names. I'm going to say yes for now. Because I think... Yeah. I don't know why I thought there was a sound called Salam there. Salam is the region. I'm a fucking idiot. It's alright. 
<laughs> it's been a while. <clears throat> Everything's under attack recently. They've worked their way up. Ah, uh, we've come here to get away, but I feel we may be going back down south because the war settled there, I think. Well, that's what, that's what the, I will meet him eventually, but yeah, um. Settled how? What? Settled how? Well, the armies have been working their way around. And so, it's no longer all out war, it's encampments down south. And now the all-out war seems to be coming here. So I think we'll be, after all this, heading back down south. For a time. To safety. You understand. Hmm. Just up. Uh, let's get you on the boat. There's a few more people that will be dying to see you. These are all moved on to the boat. Could I ask someone just to very nicely and politely roll a decent <laughs> Uh, a do what? Six. A two. Go. Go. Don't worry. Just a weather thing. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see as you get on the boat. As the water sloshes and the wood creaks, the ship seems to depart. It seems almost like a skeleton cruise. He's got on this thing at first. As it goes off, you slowly but surely start to see the city. Calaman just passing away slowly but surely. As it does, you find yourselves soon at sea. Oh, As I great. Just Link everything up. Give me a little moment there. It's going to take a hot second. No, please, by all means, don't mount up these cunts. Two, three. Do, 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 do. I found that I couldn't have used mounted to the boat whilst everything else was going on. Else it really fucked with the scenes. So yeah, here's hoping that yous are all on top of this boat when it loads in. I am mildly scared that the loaded the map is called naval combat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't going to gloss over being on a boat. I've done a lot of work for this. Oh my god. Hopefully you are all on top of the boat. Uh, yeah, looks like it. Now, let's get ready for the fun part. As I move the boat, you all move with it. Oh my god. Does that... Oh, that's and... beautiful. And you can move independently on the boat as well. So if I, if hold on, if I move like let's say ten feet, right, move the boat again, does it still move with us? Oh my god, that's amazing! Roll twenty could never do this shit. Fuck. I see. I tried. You did. You do. Give you the best every... experience possible. Yeah, and every time I say that to you, you're always like, "I'm not that. I don't put that much effort into this." This, no, this, one I did. this one I did because I had to learn it. 
I had to learn how to do this for other campaigns and for everything that could come up. Look at them, Minotaur. I hold the Spelljammer book here for fucking fighting on boats. Oh my god, this is beautiful. <laughs> but yeah. Birds too? This is set on it. The night starts to draw in. As it does. You feel this chill come about. And at first you hear just a slight little patting. This batting on the sails. And then it gets worse. And gets worse. Eventually, I will fucking drop that right down again. Oh, that is, if that's lagging me, that's lagging you. <laughs> Let's say that's heavy rain. Oh, that 30 FPS. Oh, oh, it's just like playing on a console. <laughs> But yeah, I'll just kill the birds, that's what it is. Kill the birds. That one thing I wish I could do at my home. Oh, oh, keep the birds, keep the birds. It's birds or rain, and currently it's a heavy rainstorm. Don't worry. Okay, okay. Yeah. What, what is this, Redfall? <laughs> I've not played that. <laughs> <laughs> I hear it's bad, but I ain't played it. Alright. <laughs> But yeah, uh, let's actually just use this one. Fuck it. It's a better rain, to my knowledge. It is not a better rain. Actually, it is. Six, two, three, and half a dozen. As you are on the boat, looking round, the city passes by. You all seem quite happy, but sad. There is a feeling of malcontent around. Happy but sad and then malcontent. Hmm. Yeah, it's real whirlwind because you don't know your words. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a boat. All my friends are dead. Why are we on a boat? I'm on a boat. I am. Yeah. <laughs> but these are on here as the rain starts battering down. The sails seem to blow in opposite directions and it is a slow, slow travel. As it were, yeah. Here from up back, the... I was going to use the word pilot for a moment there. This rather tall, ugly-looking minotaur fucker. Gonna shouts over. So, how'd you just get kicked out anyway? I've got to know. <clears throat> what that club he hold it? <laughs> I won't worry. No one's giving this information. Oh wait, what did I? What did he ask? What did you do to get kicked out anyway? Uh. We didn't really do anything. Something got blamed on us that we did not do. By an asshole. That's why we're all here. Isn't that right? And you're gonna hear the chorus of yeah from on the boat as people are pulling on riggings and loading through cannons. So, where are we off to? You have a destination in mind. The yeah. northern waste. Ooh. Interesting. I realize I've not put Dara here, but for the convenience of it all, Dara is downstairs sleeping. Dara is seasick. <laughs> what? 
Should I make a constitution check to see if I get C6? Get him you want. <laughs> no, not is really. He, <laughs> is he actually holding a, a flintlock or a gun? There's only one way to find out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I, I asked him about it. I, I asked him, what's that? That you're <laughs> holding. This is... This is Daisy. She's, uh... <clears throat> she served me well, but... She's a small hand-mounted cannon, shall we say. And anyone unlucky enough to be on the other side shall be pushing daisies and it, <laughs> probably a grunt to the rest of the crew because <laughs> Exodus makes that joke every single time the name of daisy is brought up I want one <laughs> um, I, uh, I, I asked him I asked him where did he get it and how do I get my hands on one I procured it in Newport. Newport. Apparently it had travelled round and one day whilst minding my own business some idiot decided to try his luck and I he's gonna takes his hand off the Rudder, he's gonna watch as the boat seems to sway a moment. Look at me. Would you honestly. Do you honestly fight me for fun? Not me, at least. Mm. He's like. He's like. Oh, he's a whole size bigger than us, right? Yeah, he's technically large. I died. Yeah, no. No, thank you. But someone tried and well spare you the details, but this is mine now. Hmm. You're welcome to try and take it. Uh, you mentioned that it's it's served you well. Are you willing to sell it? Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh. Strike fear into the hearts of your foes with this. Mm. I'd sell this. So you're going to watch as he leans from out back and you watch as he pulls us what is essentially a musket this is this is useless in comparison to daisy hmm hmm I'll save you the troubles you don't have enough mm-hmm He would lean to Revel and whisper and say, he's calling you broke. Yeah, he's not wrong. <laughs> lean, lean, lean back up. I am <sighs> a fair man, however. Best to me, and yes, whilst we may have to spend a day waiting for me to recover, and that's an extra day at sea, you could have it. Best you in what? Uh, a cross stitching contest. Is he ta he's talking about combat. Oh no. Well, you could um, best me for the ship. At this point, anything's better than 
biting it to one of those scaly monstrosities. You know, watch as he shuddles. Next, you, you've been a man at sea for a while. You've you've seen some of the things that come from the sea. Um, for him to be shuddering, that's that's no bueno. That's <coughs> chilled him to the core. He uh. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, let me see what I can do about this. Don't large creatures get, like, advantage on stuff for being large? Um, they get carrying capacity, should. Mainly just, like, advantage on grappling. And, like, it, it, grappling and any type of strength-based check on a... I'm going to use the word life form, but like, you know, a creature who is classed as smaller than it. <clears throat> we'll say though. The, the only problem with me besting him is that I use magic. I feel like that's cheap. Why, why are you trying to, uh, to grapple what? a person? I'll say he's use... He has a musket, and I want the musket. Out of the... Crew quarters. You're gonna you're gonna try to brute force a a guy who uses brute force. My uh my uh I think, think I should. My main thing is I can use enlarge reduce on myself and turn myself into him, and then we can have a bare knuckle brawl. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I mean it'll take away the advantage he has for being a large creature. We'll say as you are. Just down to rolls. So you're uh -huh. watching, having a small discussion. Right in the crew's quarters comes this. Oh, oh well, wait, wait, is this me? Yeah. Is this me? Well, Give okay. me a moment, please. Just Give me a moment. I, I am hot, I am tired, uh, and I, I need to, like, okay. get my bearings for a moment. Okay. But, uh, um, uh. Well, while he's, uh. Figuring that out, I'm gonna speak to Scruffy. I'm gonna uh, tell him I'm a caster. Is that a problem? It's an advantage thing for certain, yes, but. And guess what? My friend Maddie's coming over. I. Oh. Look at it this way many of the things that. You do here. Um, area of understand you. If you can not destroy the boat, that would be uh, that would be fantastic. Fine with me. Um. So uh. We're gonna do this with fists. <laughs> Where did that liquid come from? I could certainly do that if you wish. But I make no guarantee. You're gonna hear the cracks of his knuckles, the cracking of his neck. <laughs> Oh, and he kind of raises his hand with ear quotes. Exodus! Someone what? must helm the ship. Ah. Uh, I say, well, it's better than being a rigger. Even if I get beat, this will be fun. <laughs> Can I have this token? Can you what? Can I have his token? Are you gonna like mimic re into him or something? Mm hmm. First, I'm gonna cast a larger piece on myself. I mean, oh, are you just trying to make yourself, are you just trying to make yourself a larger token? Yeah, I'm gonna make myself. I'm gonna use enlarge to change my size from medium to large, so it actually works. I 
have a macro that will make you a large token, mate. <clears throat> yeah, but like I'm saying, this actually makes me a large creature. So, you know. So are you trying to like shapeshift into him is what I'm getting at here? Yeah, I'm going to fight as him. Alright. Then you're going to have to give me the briefest moment. Does that alarm. change your stats? Nope. It gives me an extra d4 in damage. That's pretty much it. And it makes me a large creature. So I get large creature uh, stuff. I mean, if you're confident. I can also use reduce on him and make him a medium creature. <laughs> uh, let me get his token detail for you. It's going to be like, really hard for also, me to keep track of. Also, I want to ask. Ooh. Who is, is Jay already Thane again? No. We just got on the boat. Who is he? Still Revel. Oh, oh, that's what oh Revel's alive! Oh, okay, okay. Why did you think that's what I'm gonna was do. dead? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna enlarge and I'm gonna reduce. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try to do anything about. It. I'm gonna. I'm watching oh, this because. Token. Oh no! It's a. It's a, it's a friendly brawl, but he said I'm a fair yeah. man. You can best me in combat. I'll give you. A, it's uh, a friendly the brawl. So 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 the musket isn't the prize. You're just the musket. The musket. Oh, the musket is the prize. No, the musket. The musket is the prize if I beat him. He's pretty fucking stupid to agree to this. So he said I can pass as long as I don't destroy the ship. <laughs> yeah, he, he's pretty fucking stupid. He's not stupid. He don't. He doesn't think I can beat him. He's a, he's if a, someone came up to you with that offer and said they were a caster, no, no, it, you, it wasn't. No, no, no it wasn't. It wasn't that offer. He offered, right? It was his offer because he's just that type of guy, you know. He doesn't use the weapon that, that much. Confident. He's testing the guy a bit. Testing metal. He's probably bored. You know, stuff like that. You know. Mm -hmm. So, so the minute, so the guy with the mentor, but the guy with the horns, is, or issue the challenge. Yeah. Oh, he's so stupid. I mean, I'm a wizard, but my strength is 15. I know. I'm just saying the guy with the horns is, is, is pretty. I'm uh, gonna just turn the rain off for now for the, the FPS or at least for short sighted <laughs> overcoming, whatever you want to call it. It was a bad decision. Look and I want to see how this plays out. <laughs> he's a minor tower. Yeah, he's gonna watch as the bell, that's sort our of bell rings with the old scruffy fee beard. As it does, you watch as many members of the ship seem to just make their way up to the back and even get rid of the clouds. What the fuck? <laughs> as it does, you then watch as this man, we'll never introduce you, RJ, you kind of. And the bell tolling kind of seems to walk up from the underside. Uh, RG, you want to give us a little description of what we're looking at? Look at, look at All this. right. Here you have uh, a man who, uh, of course, in the face, he is looking both worried and sick for a reason. That is intentional. Um, he looks, uh, as far as his uh, way his skin's fitting on and the way his uh, flesh is fitting on his bone, he, um, the way his face looks and his general color, he looks as if he just recently overcame a chronic illness and just got used to actually eating full meals again. Um, he is standing at six foot seven. However, he's not a very threatening man. He's just kind of wiry. Um, he does have some meat on his bones, but in, in general, I want you to really focus on the fact that he is not uh, a physical person. And he knows this, but his uh, the expression on his face at all resting times would be one of uh, general worry and concern, but also interest. He looks at the world as if there are a great many problems to solve, and he knows he has next to nothing that he can do about them at the current time. Even what do you, what, if he even huh? What do you mean he's not a physical person? Oh, I meant, meant that he's uh, he's not one for physical combat, physical capabilities. Oh, like he okay. like he he has it. He has. He, but like you look at him, he he he's used to hard labor, but he's not one to, you know, for for shows of strength or to be you know, reliant upon. Like he like you know, what I want to say is uh, you know, 
he 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 he's not uh the person you would expect but actually kind of redundant um i wanted to kind of illustrate that he's you know strong but he's not strong for someone his size mm-hmm. but he is strong but that's kind of illustrated by the fact he's, that he's he got a, he's got a, meat on him. like he's got a sex pack but if you get wet you'd never know <laughs> yeah he he's capable but he's just not a. Uh, he's not out here uh He's not out here winning hunk on that hammer test of strength at the at the carnival. He he'll get up there though. Right, he's he's lean. Um, yeah, but I want to emphasize that his leanness comes from sickness, or, and he also looks uh you know like he's kind of darting around like trying to figure out if he belongs there or not. Even though he seems comfortable with the place, he's just always alert. Do I know him? He's new. He's new. He's he would, he would look on over, and he would say, <laughs> "You say you missed me so bad. You got a landlubber." Shout out to the crew, and then looking to uh, Clifton. He needed he, a friend. He, he, he notices. Go ahead. Uh, that's all. Oh. He, he looks over, um, you know, kind of knowing that you're talking about him, or guessing that you're talking about him. And, um, he, he, he wants to, you know, he, he wants to look, and then he'll look away. He's looking back at whatever this altercation that's about to go down is um, happening. Um, he's not too concerned about your... Oh, that and actually does make me Well noticed he has his sea legs. Right. So, I'll, I'll be right back. That's right. Weight is multiplied by eight. Took my moment to add the, oh yeah, and all that. I was able to add two unarmed strikes. Need a little bit of dirt. Yeah. The first is big. He does. He gonna looks at yourself there. Yeah. Revel and he does. You know, looks at everyone else and did you know he was going to do that? <laughs> I was gonna crack his knuckles a bit. Come on, then. <laughs> he said, "Lay one on him." It does. All right. All right. Did you add a an arm strike to my sheet? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Manual rolls. Um, it's actually two d four. Did you uh, have it like that? Uh, I'm using the 2d4. Where are you getting 2d4 from, my guy? Um, unarmed strike is 1d4. Uh, because? Being large gives me a... Because oh. it's... Isn't that the damage die for unarmed strike? Would That's 1d4 good? extra damage, so you do 1 plus mod plus 1d4. 1 plus mod plus 1d4. So yeah, you're okay. constantly rolling a d4 after it. Okay, I'm gonna constantly roll a d4 after it. Okay. Yeah. If you wanna go ahead and roll in. Yeah, sure. I meant to initiative, but sure. Oh, okay. No, wait. Let me let me do initiative. Yeah. Got to know who goes first in this one. Oh. There we go. Initiative roller. Don't mind that. Uh. I'll say this for yourself there. Bernard, you kind of watch as he. Ten. That was a horrible. The musket to yourself. Award to the winner, or give back to me. I'll keep a good eye on it. <laughs> kind of looks at it like. Uh, points the What's barrel it? at his face, trying to figure out what the hell's going on. <laughs> figure out the trigger. Look, Skywalker, the most dangerous weapon in the world, points it in his face. Yeah. <clears throat> what does he do? See, he's got a nice, like, dark wooden stock on it. The barrel seems to go up. You see, the carvings in the barrel seem to be that, like, a very long dragon or snake. And just at the very end, you can all watch as the mouth opens up to where the rounded barrel part would be. As it does, you watch as the minor towel, scruffy. Walks up to you as he does. Roofy. I don't think I can get to within 
five foot because of how weird it is. Yeah. There's five foot. It's on you. He's yeah, gonna okay. walks up and just you know, blast into you. It's a fucking that one. Oh, okay. Like that. Before smashing you with an uppercut. And then immediately Wait, so firing an elbow the into the back. The contest strength was just, was just a brawl. It's just a brawl. Yeah, it is a brawl. a brawl for 12 damage. Two sixes. And, correct me if I'm wrong, it's a concentration spell. Can I have a concentration? It is a spell. Yes, you can. With advantage. Warcaster? Mm-hmm. You're good. Yeah, I am. Smacks you again, because two hits, both for six. I, I really, I, you're only ever going to take six damage, you only ever need a fucking ten. Mm -hmm. I need an Archon save. Mm. And then make it advantage. You know. Damn. Hits with those now. Looks. So, uh, oh. Alright, um... We're going to nothing to destroy the ship. <laughs> okay. This is where he's got to look for like non AOE spells. Yeah. You just tell the you just really prey on the ship's dexterity and cast meteor swarm. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, I, I, would, a sweeping I would breeze say your best, one of them sideways and, I'd say okay. for here your bet like everything we'll else flashlight. everything else here is fine bar fireball for obvious fucking reasons oh yeah okay then we're gonna do uh so I'm, I'm, I'm clearly worried about him having uh allergies here so I'm gonna do Jim's magic missile oh you know you, you know that's how nice of you he could be allergic to sheep. An 18 will hit for... I uh, fucking hate how this one goes. If the attack roll scores a crit, down the missile, so it takes 5d. Is that 5d4 at the bottom? It's 5d4, so he takes 3, 6, 9. Right. Yeah, so it's like 9 damage to a uh, magic missile. Numbers. Am I, am I able to... Uh, am I able to bonus action on arm strike? Or is that only... I'm, I'm used to doing monk stuff, but I don't know if normal characters They're can do that. Not classed as a finesse weapon, your fists. Your fists are specifically strength-based. It's only monks that have it as dexterity-based. Okay. Yeah, have you got any uh, bonus action cantrips or such? No, I don't think I have any bonus action cantrips. No. That's alright. Then, is you kind of fire these off at him. He kind of looks as he does. I thought we were gentlemen. <laughs> well then. You've he kind of places his hand out on you. Forced my hand. Didn't anything else your turn? No, that's it. We're fine. He watch as he backs up. I want to say twenty-five. He's not a swashbuckler. He's not a swashbuckler as well, is he? Nope. Then these come. Then these come after him. What come after uh, the magic uh, missiles? Yes, most definitely. Oh, they already hit. I took the damage off. No, more come after him. Oh. Mhm. Mm I want to say because because if he invokes. If he invokes opportunity, I get to cast a leveled spell. Oh, then you need to reroll for the. You need to reroll for another one then. Oh wait, do I not? Ca do I not do all the, the magic all, all missiles? All the magic that... missiles are at the same time. It's three missiles, each for one d four, or in this case two d four. So they all hit at the same time. Okay. 
This is magic missile that has a bit more damage, and um, as such, it's got an attack roll. It's like if you'd normal magic missile, it'd just be like, ah, these always hit. But you can still like, cast a leveled spell if you wish, or a cantrip. Again, as long as it's not fireball. Okay. I feel fireball would also take you out, and Renard, and RJ. It's 17 Ooh. for 9 also hits. Truly mean. And now another argument in the call. <laughs> As it does. 17 for 9. Uh, I'm reading 16 and 3. There's. So if. Who pushed the back that far? If the attack roll scores a crit, the target, the, the target takes an additional 5d4 fourth damage. Instead of rolling the damage twice, so it's separate. Oh. Da separate damages instead of doubling the damage. Oh, I see. I see. I see. And then you do three missiles, so you take the number and you times it by three. Okay, gotcha. Yep. As it does, you watch as he kind of pulls out the gat. <laughs> Shall we call it? The gat. As he does, he kind of looks at yourself there. Exodus. It's only yes, fair. Sir. It's only fair. No, it's only fine. It's fine. It's I, fine. I just got back. What happened? He uh, pulled out Daisy. Revel cast magic oh, missile in a fist fight. So now, uh, now Scruffy's whipping out Daisy. <laughs> you would you would laugh if they shoot him. Wait a minute, going to. I want to move sideways. I want to move out the way. <laughs> Yeah. Did he just? Did I? No, I kept. Did I give it back to him? Hmm. Thank you. Da That's you got the musket. Daisy's a pistol. Oh, okay. He does. <laughs> He's gonna have the chance. This earth shattering. Oh. If he uh, if he is anywhere over fifteen, I'm gonna have him reroll. So not twenty, mate. Yeah, I'm gonna have them reroll. Link the thing for the reroll, please. Yes, sir. Rewinding time. Roll shift. Uh, as a reaction, he's not within thirty foot of you. He's not. Forty How big is this ship? He's actually he's forty foot away from you. He is okay. Um, um, is there anything on the ship that needs tending to while they're fighting? <laughs> Clean the cannons. Do the wrecking. Hope and pray. Oh, I'm gonna get to work. I'm gonna earn my keep. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna give myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to work. That shift back. That's right. As oh, he does fire the down, fall, man. Oh my bad. You're gonna watch as the barrel seems to almost explode with a breath of fire outwards. As it does, you take. Funnily enough, twelve. Um. Well, piercing. Oh, okay. So he kind of spins once more, fires at a second time. Twelve, believe, misses. Yeah, twelve misses. Four. Going a third, you take a total of twenty-seven. But because you're concentrating, uh, twelve. Then I need a con save. If that doesn't pass, you got I'll advantage look at it. because you're a warcaster. Yes, I do. You're good. Mm -hmm. And then another Wait. one again because you need. Oh, another there. one again. Yep. Again, just con straight tens is what we're looking for here. Uh, con, 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 con. There it is. Advantage. Good thing you got advantage. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! Who just Ooh. barely? And then bonus action reload. Revel. Okay, I'm gonna rush him. Thirty feet right there. Yeah. Uh, then I'm gonna hit him with Tasha's hideous laughter. All right. You're gonna rush him and tell him not not go. <laughs> he's he's gonna be like, Are, aren't you glad I didn't say banana? Oh fuck! Off. 
and he just lifts up the fit of hilarity, and he's just <laughs> on the ground. He's like, fuck you. <laughs> DC 16. Saves. Uh, have him reroll. Okay. Uh. Now he's in range, so I can make him reroll. Saves. Okay. Plus eight. Gotcha. Pretty, pretty wise for someone who sought out a stranger in a fist fight. Fair competition. But it never happens. He's the pirate. <laughs> he just likes having fun, bro. Mm -hmm. It's all in fun. It's all right. Then it announce your turn. Uh, no, that would be it. If I can do, uh, yeah, no, we're good. You know what? She kind of starts whipping the gun round, places it back in the holster, and she just pulls out this normal-looking-ass rapier. As he does, we'll make these attacks recklessly. Don't know why, don't know why I tagged reckless in there. I'm gonna need one con save. Gotcha. And then a second. Gotcha. And then a third, all ten. I'm gonna make sure I ain't killing you out, right? So, so a ten. And then seven and six. And just I make three con saves because regardless of how this goes. In that regard, um, it's a 10 or fail and it's not going to make any difference to the damage. Because it's a okay. fucking rapier. One sec. Uh, page not responding. Don't worry, I just want me to roll them for you. Thank you. Uh, publicly so everyone can see. Mm -hmm. On save a 20. On uh, save a 23. Nice. And in that 20. Nice. <laughs> I am. Jim, move it over to you. What you done with your turn? Do you need me to do it for you? Um, it started moving for a second. Is that, is there, what do you want me to do for you, Mitt? Um, one sec. Uh. I'm going to, as my turn, I'm going to do some Shadow Clone Jutsu. Okay, Bushino Jutsu. Oh, the pilot sound. Mirror image. And ceiling shot. Oh, then those aren't. Sh Never mind. So what, what a fucking. That's right. Mirror oh. image. Kill, kill. Let's get that. Watches the three oh. rebels. Then I announce your tournament. And I can't attack as a bonus action, so yeah, that's it for my turn. Okay. Then he watches, kind of takes the rapier and kind of sticks it down in the ground. What? Better men have tried. <laughs> All have failed. Punches at you, 28 for 6. Oh, shit. I'm going to have that yeah. redirect one of the uh, mirror images. This man's punches have infrared oh, so, uh, radar. To, I think you need to roll on that, do you not? Do I? Um, Each time target with an attack, you roll a d20. So you roll a d20 and if it hits, so... Needs to roll a six or higher on a d20 to smash one of your targets. Okay. D20, go ahead and roll that. You good? Love it. I'll have the second one ready. Yep, so the second one is an eight and then an eleven. <laughs> so I'll just see. He's gonna watch the fire as he's off in a fit of rage. So we need an eight for number two, and an 11 for number three. You get hit. So we just need a eight again. But we need a six again. Dang it. 
the Dudgeon's Watch as the uppercut comes in to Fane, losing all concentration. Down on my butt. So it does it gonna looks over. Yeah, you know, sleep it off. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah, you know, sleep it off. Uh, there's no D4 for me there. I like the scrolling black screen. Is cool. <laughs> uh, roll a D4, mate. Roll a D4? Yep. Okay. Let's see. Non fatal blow. So I don't need death saves. Uh, it's a very nice night for yourself, shall we say. As you are set to sleep it off. Don't worry. Looks friends. Better luck next time. This does the night goes on. The boat sails off some more. Does anyone have anything they wish to be doing at this moment in time? Well, depends on how long has passed by, but um, have I have I made a dent in the work that the crew is supposed to be doing? Yeah, yeah. Ca casual up keeps been going on without fail. You know, everyone's been kind of right. sluggishly going at it, watching the slugfest happen. As you anybody I recognize on the crew? Just the rainbow beard man and the. So who? Oh, him, yeah. Minotaur taking the helm. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm done a little, done a little upkeep. I'm gonna go on back to my stuff. And, you know, just sit down. Sit down against the railing and chill. Yeah, then. If no one else wishes to be doing anything. Oh. Um. Uh, I just would ask the captain, Captain Rainbow Beard. Uh, you would have probably say. So, uh, you gonna tell me the full story about this blade? And then he would take out Razor and sort of twirl it in between his fingers. Ah. Uh. We found it, uh, oh, somewhere on the, oh god, oh god, I am not very good with geography, give me a sense to pull up the map, at the back of the book. <clears throat> He's me. We found it somewhere near the... I am going to try and pronounce that one. Abranesia. Let's call it Abranesia. North of the uh, Colonisty region. We were docked. Some of us went out. Some went to the um, towns. Some went exploring and came back with this. They also found one of these uh, things. Things. See, he starts going through his book as he does. Notated it here. Yeah. As he does, he brings out a little drawing of this. Oh my god! The how dagger was drawn to that. Very much. How tall they? It's um. It's odd. I can't say why. But it wished to seek out more. Scruffy could not handle it. We thought maybe you'd handle it. Or die trying, you know. Clearly the 
latter did not come to pass. Which is good. Yeah, thanks for not telling me about anything about it, by the way. <laughs> and then he would say, you look at the drawing and you would think about it for a second. He would say, they do look oddly delicious. That's disgusting, no, wretched little thing. You know, look at the thighs that could make delicious, like kind of like chicken. Oh, that's very much not a case, but we'll. If there was more, it would. It didn't tell us, that's for certain. Hmm. But yeah. Well, I appreciate the information. Uh, point me towards whoever actually found it, if you will, but for They're now dead. it's been a unrest. They're dead. They're dead. Yeah. Um, dragons, or dragon elves, can quite tell. But, stupid idiot was in the crow's nest and... Oh... Funny and tragic. Funny and tragic. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone has yep. anything else they wish to resolve us? <clears throat> talk to the captain to see what he knows of the northern wastes when he travels around the. Them. The, the wastes are treacherous. Um, they are arid deserts sometimes. It's a region where the destruction of the cataclysm is still evident. It's a tough place to walk through a trek if you're an army this is where you train it has a habit of flooding on multiple occasions due to its craggy little rocks and cracks you would be best Traveling slow where possible, but trying your best to be on your guard at all times. It is a, as the name suggests, wasteland. Anything that can live there has adapted to live there. And if it's adapted to live there, then it's dangerous. I'm looking for a location, specific location, only known as the City of Lost Names. You, any idea where that can be found? Mm. Uh, it's not doesn't really ring to me anything I we tend to keep a distance from there as whilst we'll travel close to the coast on most places <clears throat> the sea elves can be quite territorial and we try our hardest not to come under attack Would I know that myself, based on the stories of the uh, Salamic stories of Lord South? Would I know anything about the Northern Wastes from the, the legends? Where the City of Lost Names might be found? Mm. Let me quick pull to me book to see if there's anything I could very politely nicely give you like that. Um, 
Let's see. Let's just say our lost name's got four hours. Mm. I would say for this the city of lost names for itself. You know it's something that goes back pre cataclysm. Meaning any ruins or such of this place will date back long, long, long ago. It is, however, something that has been unfortunately lost to time. Um, you know, mainly because of the aforementioned cataclysm. Um, let's see, I think there's something about it here. Uh, Yeah, so with this, you know that during the conflict of the Third Dragon War, generations before the Cataclysm, that this place held some significance in history to one of many defeats at Tachesis to the hand of a name almost lost to history at some points but remembered in books Puma What'd you say? The place is significant in the downfall of Tachesis in the Third Dragon War by the hands of one Huma. Huma? Oh, I would very well know Huma. That, that Huma. <laughs> Seems how he's an ancestor. Hmm. I believe that's our destination. We may just have to disembark. I need to ask the curious. Hey, curious about it. Who still has the dragon lance? I think I do. Yeah, Renard. Yeah, I gave it to Renard. Cool. Yeah, I I'll, had it. I'll just add one broken dragon lance to your sheet because, <laughs> man, you are hoard. You can get rid of the musket and, yeah. <clears throat> the two tridents are typically there's the one weapon. It's no, it's two tridents because one's melee and one's thrown. So, unless do you, you still have the trident to my knowledge, correct? Yep. yep. So, you got one for throwing it, one for stabbing people with it. Gotcha. But yeah, for um, I believe there's only going to be one uh, one person that's going to benefit from this, but let's um long rest, call it a new day, and would someone. Kindly roll a d6. No, let's roll it. I rolled it last time. I think it was either you or John, if I'm not mistaken. It was me. It was Fane. Sorry. What? Revel. It says Fane on the Revel. 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 Yeah, it still says because every time he logs in, he doesn't change it. I could change it by going release One. character. And then for some weird amount of time, then bang. Kill. Mm -hmm. Bernard. You are not a seafaring man by any measure of this. And the storm, for the most part, is unrelenting. Managed to turn a one day trip into a three day trip, guys. That's your luck. <laughs> <laughs> As it were, the crew are used to this. I need you to roll a d20. Me? Yep. 18. Oh, I don't know if that's good or not. Uh, I fucked that. 
Make that D twenty six. D twenty six. Yeah, numbers are a great thing. <laughs> And I think you can buy a D1, by the way. I'd like to point that out. A D1 exists. 22. Okay. Do me a favour. Yep. Roll me another D6. Okay. <coughs> and... That's nice. So... As the day rages on, the crew, the ship, they maintain. You all pull your weight. Things are, for the most part, fine. Beautiful, dandy, perfect. You are battered by the ship's waves. You are battered by the sea. Nothing seems to amaze you anymore. You have the world's worst luck, as far as you're concerned. Before it, however, you notice it starts to get dark. Coming from another side. Another region, if you will. to the west as it does it seems to draw even with you and everyone seems to be wary of what's going on you watch uh, uh, Scottish hello friend uh, I have to go but um for uh, for plot's sake, um, can, uh, once we dock, can we just say that I am? I'm just heading in the same general direction. Um, I don't know where they're going. They don't necessarily know where I'm going, but I'm just asking to share the road with them. Yep. That's fine. Uh, sorry right. about this. It's alright. Um, hope you guys have a good session. So, man, hope everything's good for you. Hope everything's fine. Let me know if I'm starting off right, man. Everything's fine. I just got some uh, some household stuff to attend to. And I can't exactly quite relax yet. And that, that was my bad. That's right, man. Enjoy the season, bud. Alright, bye bye. Bye. Rebels the Pain is the only one that hasn't long rested here. It should have been a sec. Give you a one hit point and then do the long rest. It's a new day. Ba ba boom. You watch this ship seems to drawn up slightly larger ship the distance is about 200 feet you can see the people on it <coughs> they have an almost powdered wig look and bright white faces as the captain of the ship seems to kind of turn and look at your ship as your captain Seems to turn and look. He waves out his hand and seems to beck it over. You can hear this distant shouting from the boat. He is doing. There's only three years to make of this, but I will be your, I will be your trusty sorcerer and cleric. Mm. It's, it's a good thing I played both of these classes. Oh, has it not been a couple hours? It's been a whole new day, mate. Oh, I can short rest. No, you wake can, up. You, you, you can long rest to wake up at that point. Okay. It's, it's, it's a whole new day, you woke up, you just need to prepare your spell list, man, if you wish. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me some quasits on my side. Keep them on some chains. They were like, oh, oh. Make John uncomfortable. <laughs> Sorry, Renard. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, it's not very hard out here in the middle of the ocean. I have no idea what's going on here. I'm going following, looking to the seafaring folks. Grab see that what guy. reaction is to the other ship. So everyone kind of looks at you. Yes. The ship slowly starts to edge and eking its way in towards. It's great how it can't do multiple movements in one go and you've got to do it like that. You watch as the members of this crew seem to start walking up the mast. No ladders, no ropes, flat feet walking up and up. It does. That's not normal, is it? <laughs> I'm back. What did I miss? Another ship. Apparently. Oh. Draws close. You watch as these white faced, powdered wig looking type seem to run the boat. You can see, even throughout this rain, that members are walking up the mast with no ropes and no ladders feet firm 90 degrees just walking they're vampires oh my god uh are those those sea elves that he was talking about <laughs> can i make a history check to see if there are any vampire pirates yeah you can All right, let's see. It. I mean, we call them we call them vampires. <laughs> oh my! If, if they're actually vampires, he's gonna scream that. <laughs> that no, like, you have to, you right have to call them. You have to call them vampires. It's a it's a it's a sex. There's pirates. No. There's vampires. Like, Plus, it makes you know. There could be, but <laughs> you know. It's a lot of coffins. Anything's a possibility when you put your mind to it. Right, there's no race that comes to mind that can just walk up shit like that. Very sticky poles. Ah, uh -huh. he's like... They just applied some of that wood grip stuff to it. You can really glue on their shoes. Yeah. Bungers. For the shape of As you watch, he's gonna. Scrap, gonna. One hand on the mast, one hand down by the side. Even the crew seems to be. Eaching away. This does you watch as this. Particular. Being. Used to walk up the mast. Across their mast. And on to yours. Where'd it go? Oh, yeah, he can't shooting. come off. He can't come off that boat, technically. He does, he kind of leans on down. Good evening! Hello. This how isn't lucky. That's how vampires start talk, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess if it doesn't seem like we're going to attack or be attacked immediately, he would wave and say hello. Walk, walk over to where he would like be come down at. Permission to board? No, 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 no. They need that. They need that to come in, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no. They need that. You would look to Captain Rainbowbeard and say it's your call. Did that get this guy? History's intelligence, and he's got a 10. 
Wait a second. No, it can't be vampires. One running water. Are you? You really? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oceans don't count as running water. There's really? still running... a waterfall counts as running water, and oceans still. It's the weather that fucks it. Ah. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I, I think I think that only counts for like rivers and crap that they can't cross. <laughs> oh no! Gonna looks and one of us is hold up a cross and he's gonna be like, ah! Oh. <laughs> looks at you and shrugs. I, 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 you've dealt with short. Sure. And he's gonna be stunned. He's. Never seen anyone do this before. Uh, and what? Oh, oh, where's your destination? Yeah. Where you headed? Maybe we could help. Uh, he would. <laughs> I just want to look to the captain, seeing he is just stunned, and say, "What's your angle? You could help, sure, but we're doing plenty fine on our own." Uh, I like to make an insight check to see if help is actually like a um, like how the mafia helps people, quote unquote, with protection. Help. Yeah, yeah. All right. Could vary. Could vary. He seems the helpful type. Oh. He also seems the my needs before your needs type. Mm. Yeah. How far away am I from him? Uh, eighty-five foot plus. Let's just say flat eighty-five foot. I don't know how big a, a ship. How big is a ship's mast? No, uh, I don't. Too far from me. Galleon mast height, hundred and twenty foot. Yeah, let's just say eighty-five by eighty-five, so solid eighty-five. All right. <clears throat> Do you mean this? Well, I think eighty-five squared, eighty-five squared is just eighty-five ball. You square root that shit. Uh, technically 120. Yeah. 120 on the hypotenuse. It's too far for me to sense anything. You could claim to get with an 85 foot move out as far as the ship goes. You'd probably get to about here. I would say, if that's something you wish to do. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> as comfortable <laughs> as I am on the ocean, <laughs> that's a no. It's gonna shout down. Well, you're going somewhere nice. You could have missed it. You never know with these choppy oceans. Been stormy for two days. Two passing lonely ships on the waters. Trying to pick us up. Just curious. <laughs> We've we don't come across many people headed in this direction. I have no idea where we're at right now. All I see is water. I do not know maps either. <laughs> I don't know the geography. Uh, you would. Where are we, Captain? Yeah. Once the cat pulls out the little sex tank, kind of looks around, gets his bear and with stars and such, and. Um. We're. A days away from Vogler. 
The storms really slowed us down. Considerably. Hmm. This is not my bailiwick. Hmm. I'm just kind of taking it all and paying attention to it. We could... Captain and crew to see how they're reacting. Everyone is equally stunned for the most part. I mean, again, again this is like a guy walking upside down. Not something that you see every day. You hear tales of it for certain, but you never witness it in the same way that you never wit you never hear the harpies until it's too late. <laughs> yes, every, uh, everyone is very wary of what's going on and seems to be almost ready to move <laughs> at a moment's notice. People on cannons and Manganels are, for the most part, taking their time, doing everything on it very slowly, just in case. Uh, I just would say, uh, you seem like the friendly sort. Uh, yeah, we're just passing through. We're actually on a cruise. Around the world. Avoiding some of the nastier parts, though, but we don't really have a true destination. Me and my colleagues here simply want a taste of adventure. I'm, I'm, I'm asking for a deception check on that. Yeah. 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 You're good at these, though. It's okay. It's okay. I only play characters with good deception because I'm a lying son of a bitch. You played a trick secret paladin once. Yeah, and then he lied at the very end. <laughs> 25. It's gonna. Looks. And what's your first stop then? I'd say. You're maybe a few days away from Quest, if you wish to get off, or are you headed round the northern wastes? Um, oh, Seely, what is around the northern wastes? Like, let's say if we were to go past the northern wastes, is there anything in that area? Uh, <laughs> Palanthus, Signal, Tanis, and then... Coastland or Northern Argoth. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know anything about any of those towns out of character, but if they seem like play, like just normal places, he would list one of the list a random one of them. Mm. Uh. Very well, then. Uh, do enjoy your time. We will be uh, on our way. But please, do be safe. We love new friends. Do watch as he walks once more. Cross and down. He does. He makes his way back on up to the. I'm just gonna say steering wheel. <laughs> the helm. Helm. He's gonna make his way back up into the helm. As he does. Watches the boat seems to start turning as his hand seems to. Whisk away. I'm just going to turn it this way because it's just going to go down because it makes it easier on me. And as it does, he watches. A final figure does seem to emerge for the briefest of moments. Where the boat seems to just sail away. A 
was a really good deception check. <laughs> I have... <laughs> you had a plus one, <laughs> so like... <laughs> she was never catching you out. No. It's just... The vampire was never catching you out. Yep. Yes. So he was a vampire! That's actually what they're called. Really? Uh... They're called vampires. They call it a vampire. That's beautiful. I love that. Vampire captain. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Public rules. Bit the public. Oh my god. <laughs> we nailed it. I don't know why. <laughs> you just think to yourself vampires, pirates, vampire. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's like that it's like that moment in um Avernus when it's like okay we're in hell okay there's a safe with a three digit combination <laughs> yeah mm. could it be six, 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 six. Yeah. it was like really on the nose that one as well the six, yeah. seven <laughs> fucking really <laughs> just like the number seven is not on the safe at all yeah. Your travel seems to be going some that well. For the most part, very slow travel given the storm. However, as the day passes by once more, I need another D6. Glorious yeah. a one. Time to have some. Nasty storm conditions. Somebody. I'm actually back. loading. I'm actually loading back in. Do you want me to use the roll it. table instead? That's a D8. Another one. <laughs> it's the weather gets heavier and heavier. <laughs> 20 or 26? 27, sorry. 27, yeah. Oh, you 27? Said, yeah, what, 1 day 27. Same as last time. You've turned one, one day's worth of travel <laughs> into four. So, uh, DM. Yep. You do you do see the issue here, right? Uh, when, when it comes here, could I uh, get a... <laughs> he would ask anyone on the ship if they have a fishing rod. Before the day's end. Yes, why? I need to go fishing. Why? Who's I'm gonna go up here. Why, why must you fish? If I don't fish, I might end up killing someone on the boat. And that's if fish have souls. <laughs> There's some in the hold. Ah. Uh, help yourself. Alright. You, you, you would go fishing. <laughs> you would go get the stuff and go fishing. Okay. As you are, the boat is battered and waved. You watch at one point throughout. You notice this huge tentacle off in the distance break down oh, on something. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, it no. does. <clears throat> oh no. The captain does start to take a white berth away from it. About an hour later, however, you see on the water this raft. With it. Alexa, you see a woman. She's a vampire too. Gasping. <laughs> not, not, not <laughs> the speed you come out with them. <laughs> <laughs> you see she is gasping for air. <laughs> mm. 
go we go on sale right past her. No, no. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if we have life reserves or something. Oh, I'll um no, but I'll throw our rope now. I have uh I should have rope in my backpack. Actually, no, I don't have one of those because I chose starting gold. Never mind. I love AI generation. <laughs> Notice how she has two right hands. <laughs> Oh, fucking love, eh? <laughs> yeah. Mm. He watches. No. She seems to be floating there. Let me just change. Yeah, reaching out towards yourselves. No. I don't trust it. She's not worth it. She is worth it. I'm a simp. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you see the two right hands? <laughs> Double the grip, I guess. Double the <laughs> My brother in Christ. <laughs> <laughs> what are the two right hands? When I looked at the image, when you said he had two right hands, I was expecting the other hand to be on the other arm. <laughs> but no... It's it's both on the the right. And she doesn't actually have two right hands, right? No, she doesn't actually have two right hands. It wasn't until I'd like, done that and I'd noticed. I mean, if you also want to be really pedantic, she also has no left arm. Yeah. So, I'll, I'll throw <laughs> some, some rope. I said, grab a hole to tie it to yourself. She does grab it and starts kind of tying it towards herself. I, and, and she starts pulling towards until she is right up by the boat. And she can start. Once, um, I'm going to run behind Exodus and make sure he's uh, yeah. secure. She starts kind of pulling herself up. Uh, from both of y'all, I'm going to need a wisdom saving throw. Yep. Alright. I'm just making sure he's secure on the boat. Yep. Saving throw. Yep. As he watches Exodus is pulling up the rope and just kind of starts dropping weight, if you will. You know, undoes his belt with his weapons, kind of takes off his backpack because he's constantly pulling before he is basically undone. And she bring the woman on the boat. She kind of places her hand on your cheek there. Exodus. And she does hear You are absolutely unable to speak. You are enamoured by the beauty of this woman. She is everything you have ever wanted and more. She does, she kind of looks at yourself there. Revel. And she does she goes Thank you almost singing high pitch. Oh shit. I need another wisdom saving throw, man. From me? From you. Wait, 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 I think I have a thing. I think I have um Let me look this up first. Because if I look through my features, it's going to be a little hard to find. I have a lot of them. I can't know what this is. I think this is a horny mage. I think it's a very rare type of mage. As, 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 we usually call those bards. Yeah. <laughs> we just call those bards. <laughs> Uh, 
well rebel. Mm-hmm. Got it. Oh wait, you've mm -hmm. got a yeah. There's where the that's really actually quite annoying. Your active ability's got unarmed strikes, even though like, <laughs> those those aren't active abilities. Those are fucking actions. Yeah, you gave me legendary actions for some reason. <laughs> legendary, legendary action, elbow drop. Oh, I'll show you guys now. You got nothing, mate? Yeah, I'm getting I missed it. Oh. Oh wait, what's that? Plus two saving throws. Through? Um, that I'm would gonna also to... technically apply to Exodus as well. Can I silvery barbs? Silvery barbs, a DC save. Oh, hold up. What's this? A plus two. It's a four. Let's see. Exodus, you hear the song, and you are enamored for a moment before you kind of snap back to it. For it, however, the woman starts singing along, and she does revel totally charmed and incapacitated by this woman. As it were, you watch as bursting from the water comes this rather beautiful red-headed woman. She does watch as she sinks a hook into Revel for everyone else. I'm in this woman issue. Ladies, ladies, there's enough to go around. <laughs> to himself, he's just like, what's with all the hot women coming out of the ocean? Catch a barrel of them. Um, I'd like to point out this was um this was a one d eight roll. You got the mm -hmm. one. Uh, for all do of I just roll? Do I roll initiative as well? Yeah, the tank went next turn, and you did technically take damage. So, ouch! You only took seven. Did I? Yeah, yeah. And I think because you were also charmed and incapacitated. Uh, let's see, charmed till the song ends. Kill, kill, kill. Uh, incapacitated, can't take actions or reactions, just to check. Kill. Well, I, was I was even looking up if I could be charmed. I don't know what I was thinking. That's right. Let's see, am I missing anyone? Dun, 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 dun. There's a whole six of you and a whole two of them. Then I get the feeling this will probably be quicker than I'd like it to be. So let's uh, let's not dally, dally, if you will. As the siren here grab, well, hooks into yourself, friend. You hook. Just want to check. Ah, it's cute. Okay, then brings in the claw as well. 21 for 8. She moves up towards Renor. Revel, uh, you really only get to repeat the saving throw. Okay, uh, wisdom. Wisdom. Plus 2. Plus 2. You can watch Revel still absolutely enamoured by the sound of this woman singing in front of Exodus, who is. Managed to shake off. Exodus. Plus two. Uh, DC 17. Okay. Like, why did you have to be so hot? And then he would move over to the side, and then he would go and make a shove action just to push over the boat. I uh, bum bum bum. To my knowledge, you gotta go ahead and make a athletics. Athletics, and I think the number needs to beat her AC. I'm not mistaken. Uh, no, it needs to, she needs to make a contested athletics or acrobatics trick. I'm thinking of something else, yeah. There you go. Alright. I would like to use inspiration. <laughs> Don't fucking blame you. Alright, let's 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 see it. A four. <laughs> nope. I mean, well, technically, she just has to check. Check, you said, yeah, check. 
Beats it, beats it, mate. Not one, but still a four. Oh, beats it, beats it. I'd like a. <laughs> you're gonna push you stumbles for a moment for getting her bear and the eyes locked back at you. So, do anything else? Um. Wait, why did I do that? Uh, just. There's no chance he might just calm down and have a drink with us. <laughs> and then he would pull free, um, Black Razor. Not Black Razor, just Razor. Yes. Yeah. Not. <laughs> yep. Pull it forth and. And it does kind of look. Looking round. Do you announce your turn? Um. Uh. Da da da. da. Mm, no. That, that'll be it. The matriarch. She will. Well. I'm gonna take a. Uh, I'm gonna take a little look at you. And she does realize that you are not enthralled by her song. I'll take. Ooh. Two swipes at yourself, a 14 misses, but a 26 for 25. 25 damage? Not 20. Uh, I do have to ask a question though. What is her acrobatics modifier? Uh, straight dex. She's not uh, on sorry. acrobatics, so she's a... Uh, I, 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 I was only asking because I saw the dex check and not a acrobat. But yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, we're good, we're good. Um, 25 damage. Fucking hell. Um, I will use my reaction okay. to cast shield. Not 20. In hope hits. That... No, it doesn't? Yes, it does. Not 20 doesn't always hit. Not you... 20 always hits. If you've got an AC of 40 and something not 20s, it hits. That twenty's always hit. Okay. Then never mind. Natural twenty is an automatic hit and attack roll regardless of the opponent's armor class. And shields just gives you five to your armor class. Alright. Shit. We're not. Well. <clears throat> The way this is going, I'm gonna. As much as I hate to hit a woman, she's not a woman. She's a monstrosity. Well, I can say that. That's, that's, you know that's that the now. Kind of still kind of side item, but okay. We'll swing it to the one next to me, the regular siren, a couple times. A twenty-three and a twenty. So yep, seven, nine, twenty-three total damage. Nice. She's gonna swing that and she no better no looking. She's seen better days already. Then I'll shoot her. Move right here. Cuckoo. And I will move us over to Melano, our one and only sorcerer who <clears throat> I love and hate sorcerer sometimes. Um bum bum. The temptation is to say fireball and call it a day, but no. <laughs> uh, fire... You might get tossed off the ship at that point. <laughs> yes, yeah, so at that point, there we hope the ship don't get the ship's good at decks. Firebolt the siren that you attacked. A fourteen for fifteen will hit. You watch her; she screams up, almost a blood curdling piercing. We'll then move over to Clifton. A uh, boy, a uh, new boy. Well, go ahead and give a healing word at second level to Exodus. Strange, as you've not quite seen this before. Why did I take that off you? I'm a fucking idiot. Apologies, but there you go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. And then technically, uh, we move over to Rebel. Oh, save. All right. To see if I fail this or not. No, I don't. 
you are good. You're gonna snap forth. You see this thing. That's the end of your turn that you can only make a check on, but because you're incapacitated, there isn't much else you could have done. Oh, I'm incapacitated. You were incapacitated and technically charmed. Now you are no longer any of those. You kind of come to as well. Uh, boom, boom, boom. So I'll move over Exodus. Here's hoping you can do something good for you. Exodus. Oh, uh, I do. He's like, this is what I get for not following the number one rule. Never get pussy at sea. And then he goes to stab uh, the siren. Uh, let's see here. I will... Oh, wait, I can't Booming Razor. I can just Razor. Uh, give me one second. Oh, I need to select... Oh, I need to select my own token, yeah. too. Uh, it's not letting me select... Token? No, it is, but it's not. Yeah, it's not showing you a border because you're technically on top of another token, if that makes sense. Uh, yeah, 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 and then I get to 21. One will hit. Just gonna uh, bring it in. Eight, yep. Plus sneak attack? Yep. Grabbing an ally within. Plus some. Come here! Not then... any worse rules if it tries. And then it would be like, um. Never I'll let you kill her. You know, she she uh, she tricked you most of all, and then you go to walk away. Just what? I think I'm in love, man. I don't, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't think I can. Oh. It's a it's a way of killing your first time, <laughs> or not killing your first. Well, I guess you could assume it is a siren. It's very obvious. Yeah. A what? I'll be a, a siren. A siren. What's that? <laughs> Character, you don't know what a siren is? No, I don't know what a siren is. The he spent his time studying, not monster studying, but studying books, magic. You don't, you don't know what half of these monsters are. It just looks like a lady to him. <laughs> and he just woke up from whatever just happened. Sure. Look towards yourself. Revel, noticing that you're coming free, will immediately rush to grab you. Can I be strength, athletics, or dexterity check, please? Strength, athletics, or dexterity. An anti grapple. Okay. She's gonna watch, she's gonna lean forth to grab you, she's gonna push her back. Watch as she rises her claws, Renard. Okay, let's take her out and show her overboard. I know, horrible singing. It's all right. Let's start with this. So we can do... Like to put an accidentally do... gave her a fly speed instead of a swim speed. Is that only there on the... What is it? You can... It's, um, so when you make a weapon attack ones. roll against a creature, you can use that. It's only on the first attack roll for your advantage on that one when you make a weapon. So 16 still hits for 12, 13, 14, 15, uh, but a 9 misses. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, go, 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 go. Did I lose your draw? Oh, wait, oh, uh, D8. D8? Because you oh. hit using precise strike, you get to add an extra D8 to the damage. Oh, that's right. Five. Thanks. That's right. You're gonna slash it and you're gonna watch his cauterize and then burn in the scaly, slimy skin. Do it now, your turn. Nope. Okay. Smash on over to Melano. Melano. Ah, uh, she will just try a guiding bolt because sometimes she tries that and doesn't think, but you know. No. Miss. There is no advantage for 
Cleffy boy. Who? Is he getting any nice for you? I wonder. Ah! Uh, you know, this is the one cleric that is actually within range. Or a. Are you within range? Good question. Yep, within range where he tore the dead. A excellent cantrip. Wang wang wang. Fails. Takes nine necrotic. Moving on over. Revel. You kind of realize that this bitch has been fucking with your head. <clears throat> okay. Rebel is going to. And you're too brave to give love a bad name. <laughs> Gonna uh, frostbite. Pass on over the frostbite. She fails miserably. You gotta give her that good old yell. You watch that runs down her and parts her start to freeze over in places. Didn't give her cold resistance. Gave cold resistance to the normal siren. Then I lost your Listen, we can talk about this. We can we can make this work. And that's it. <laughs> Exodus. He says it in common, says it in Sylvan, says it in Infernal. I did say BRB. Um Short Wolf. Seven moments. Being generous. Ah. She's gonna look at yourself once more and... We can make it work, honey. Just give me a cuddle. Gonna reach her arms out once more. I ain't gonna ask you to count that. No, I'm gonna ask you to count that, but I know you're gonna be able to. Uh, Anti-grapple once more. She get a nat 1, so as long as you don't get a nat 1, you're fine. Yeah, sure. Um... Actually, I think you've got a positive mod. Yeah, you do. You got a positive modifier in your strength. Anyway, you're good. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Renard. She's got to go. Eighteen, sixteen, both hit. Seventeen. Well, there's ten, twenty-four total damage. gonna start wailing on her. She's caught up good. She's not looking the best. She has looked better. Did I announce your turn? No, nope. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna play the Firebolt game here. 20 for 8. Fuck me, that one hits. Gonna left in. Well... Hold the dead. Wisdom saving will pass on that one there. Revel. Singing a good song there, mate. Okay. Okay. Why am I? What's what's the damage on that? Uh, so two d six. Passes. She passes. Yeah. She tries okay. once more and. Yeah, no, it's quite everlasting. Do I answer your turn? Can I um? Can I try to grapple her as a bonus action, or is that an action type thing? That's specifically an action. Okay. 
Okay. So, how is she looking? Not good. Like, dead warm. Death warmed up at this point, mate. Oh, okay. Then I don't need to use that. You're good. Alright, man. Uh, Exodus, you here? Didn't think so. Okay. Uh, well, short pull over. 14 for 2. Well hit. And watch the little stinks in. The siren will. I'm realizing that this isn't working out in her favor at all. Can't take her claws and claw. Claw off towards Renard 1 Revel 2. 17 damage to Renard. Ooh, <clears throat> and 12 to Rip. Yeah, she kind of looks around desperation in her eyes. Realizing regardless of what's going on, she's getting out of here alive. Oh, uh, nope. Make sure I hit this one. Uh, 25 for 14 does it. 25 for 15 does it, rather. You kind of wail into and you're going to watch. You bring it down, clefting through as it burns. You can smell, you can, the briefest of moment, you smell burning tuna. <laughs> you oh, hear the tuna melt. Screech and scree before she falls overboard with a <laughs> She watches the water starts to turn red and the gulls come in to feast on the corpse. So it does the captain and such. Yeah, looks round. You's uh you's held yourselves well. It was very good. Maybe you'll have to hire you after all this done. I check on everyone, make sure they're okay. How? See if anybody needs any assistance. This cliff. Actually, Revel, right next to me. I'm gonna take a small walk forward. As he does, just kind of. Flaps his hand as he does. Uh, Y'all get a nine health back. Great. Mass healing word. As he says some stuff and some funny stuff. Before just polishing the cannon once more. <laughs> the only one Is that a euphemism? No, he's genuinely polishing the can in this. He likes to make himself useful. It's when he starts taming the dragon, that's when you've got a problem. Now I'm now I'm debating the logic of polishing a cannon, because that surface, right? Polishing so it's shiny doesn't make sense. However, cannons probably suffer a lot from seawater and need a coat of polish to not rust. I don't know. Sounds as sounds, sounds uh, reasonable. <clears throat> it's, yeah. Everyone looks. I I will now be very nice and roll you the d6 of travel. Sorry, the d7 of travel. But fuck it. Why do I do odd numbers? I'm a fucking idiot. Is are rolling on through the heavy rain seems to get harder and harder and harder and heavier you know it's not doing good you are first and foremost not gaining an extra day of travel i feel i should point that one out 
right fucking now. We'll walk wherever we're going better than this. <laughs> Funnily enough, yeah, at this point. <laughs> <laughs> But you'd also have to pass by Vogler, and that's an active battlefield. You're going upriver? Yep. I thought we were going north. Vogler's north of Calaman. No, it's not. It's west of Calaman. But across the river. Is it, is it... We're not going out to sea, we're going up the river? Uh... So... Da, 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 da. Uh, let's use the continent map here real quick. Calaman's the... Uh, Vogler's the blue. Mm-hmm. Calaman's <laughs> here. I don't know why I thought Vogler was right here. But you are technically going this way. Okay. That's what I thought. 25 miles in one day two. yeah actually at this point 25 miles in two days <laughs> that's yeah could have walked <laughs> who'd have could've thought walked. it'd be so fraught with weather yeah who just thought it'd be so fraught with weather but yeah as the weather starts to pick up more and more and more It starts to sway. As it does, you start hearing creaks and cracks. You watch as the crew whip into a frenzy. As it does, people start pulling on rigging, start screaming as waves lash up the sides. People brace as things come in. As they try their hardest to avoid rocks that they very narrowly see. Visibility is nothing at this point. As it were, I am going to need everyone to make a dexterity save. Exodus with advantage. As you've, you've, written, these, you've written these weathers before. And it's, um, you know what's coming. <laughs> she watches your good friend Clifton tries tries but his seafaring legs are not with him and I'm looking for prone on this list and it's in alphabetical order Exodus you tried your hardest but you do ultimately end up falling prone as well I don't know why I rolled you into initiative when I meant to put a little thing on you. Don't think you're going to a fight. Do not worry. Melanor, is your dexterity save going to be any better? What? No. Actually, I'm going to make this... Two. Does that plus two include yourself, Renard? Oh, crammy. going to make me look. I'm looking as well, don't worry. Aura, uh, for the aura? For the aura, it does. Renard, you're the only one that passes. You or a creature within 10 feet of you. Yeah, so it includes me. You are the only one that passes. She watches everyone else. You know, falls prone at that point, then I'm just going to take the prone sticker off. As it does, you start hearing people shouting as the captain screams. Start tying things down. Hold and breathe. Does. Watches. Everything starts being tied down. These sails are brought to a absolute standstill. They're brought in and wrapped tight to stop any movement of the ship. It's the current. That's the word I'm looking for. It's meant to take you. As it does, you hear another smashing and crashing. Need another dexterity save from everyone. What's the. I was gonna roll. He's a fucking plus two. She's a fucking 
plus one. Oh. Plus two, plus one. Clifton saves. Do I still have advantage? You still have advantage, yeah. Let's see. Uh, so, Clifton passes. Let's see. Uh, I'm just going to write names real quick because it's a lot easier for me now. So I've got a Clifton and Exodus. A Melano. A Renard. And a Revel. And we want to see. Four. X. 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 What you got there yourself, Rebel? Yep, uh, Rebels. So, let's see, I'm gonna smash down some more. He's all getting knocked prone. Some of you start sliding around. Exodus, you trying your hardest are swept towards the cannon, kind of bracing yourself as you kind of try to pull up once more. Let you know right now, I'm looking for half of you to pass four times before you fail four times. <laughs> yeah. So far, we're on two fails. This will be fun. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. It does. He watches the large wave seems to wash over the deck becomes slidey from when there's other members of the crew start pulling out once more as they do the rudders and oars are pulled in you hear the little battening of the hatches and you know kind of scruffy shouting brace once more as he watches this huge wave seems to come under and up the ship as the ship starts to rise on the wave and as it does you hear this See, basically, this ship has gained air at this point. As it does, another large smash into the ground. Whoa! I did! I can get all the decks safe from everyone. And I'll let you know right now Melano failed and Clifton failed. I'm manually rolling these guys. Mm. Oh. Mm. I still got that inspiration. Can I use that? I think you believe you used that two sessions ago. I got it two sessions ago. I've never used it that I know of. I'll give you this thing. We'll call it burnt. From here, so it's uh, Renard burnt. Eh, and I did not. Uh, Renard. Got worse. Let's see, uh, dun dun dun. Exodus. Let me pass. Revel on a 14. We're not on. Thirteen. The splashing, crashing, and bashings come in as you are thrown about like a chew toy of a dog. So as the captain looks round in shock and awe. This has been the worst weather in quite some time. Did you see thunder cracking from the sky? The lightning flashes once more. As it does. It strikes part of the boat. You see small little fire breaks out up here. As it does you the crashing and cracking of this huge of the boat on rocks before this thud once more. Let's I really need y'all to pass this <laughs> once more as loud as we can. Clifton fail, Melon will fail. We we need to have a group talk before we roll these, I guess not. <laughs> We need a motivation. <laughs> Give you motivation right. in a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When all the all of <laughs> me gives Exodus backstory with pirates. DM kills all of the pirates in a ship crash. No. Bernard, uh, 
Exodus, come on, buddy. Oh, oh I gotta roll one too. We have to do it. These rollers are just not in it. As it does. Just watch. The rain, the thunder, the lightning. It's Exodus. You come to your feet once more as it does the final jaunt of the ship. It seems to hit harder than before as it does this wave from the western side of the ship, which words I don't use, is it batter, and as you are coming up to your feet, the ship seems to launch. As it does, you are thrown over the cannon. By the time the ship comes through, the ship is no longer in the position it once was. And you are also no longer on the ship. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a d6 alphabetical order. Oh no. Oh no. You all hear the smash and splash of Exodus screaming and falling off the ship. What are we doing? Throw him a rope. Who's got a rope? I got rope. I swear I got rope. You do. I hope I got rope. I got rope. You're gonna throw down the rope. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. Throw down the rope. There's exit if you can see just barely this rope. Get enough perception. The perception? I said you've got a good enough perception that you can just see this rope. Uh, you, you've seen it happened to you before. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's like, oh, he's like, fucking goes to grab the scrambles for the rope. You know, Get grab and pull. Uh, Bernard, I'm gonna need a strength check and I'll give you an advantage because you are on the thing by there, so you have like a full, you have a full crumb lever, we'll say. Oh yeah. You pull up your small little drenched exodus. As everyone seems to be looking about some more. And the weather, not giving up. The crew, not giving up. A little while longer this goes on. These are all very much aware, however, that the Issues have now come to pass. What could be worse, you wonder? Well, hopefully nothing. <laughs> However, I need a D7. And I, I, just, I just need it not to be a 7, not to be a 6, and not to be a 1. Alright, I got you. <laughs> Not to be a six. Never tell me the odds. <laughs> I'm here by. Oh, see, day of hard weather comes to. Use R. Fighting. You have no way of not fighting this. Never getting on a boat again. <laughs> <laughs> However, eventually, you've come to a very odd and weird place. As the boat seems to crash, as it does, you find yourself moored. As you are murdered on your boat, you end up finding yourself in this soggy, wet beach. You spend maybe about an hour or so waiting for the weather to subside. 
After it does. Defend yourself. On a hex crawl. <laughs> e. And with that, my beautiful friends. Let's see, what do you use? Let me make sure I got that right. Dun, 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 dun. Yep. I'll get you a good enough token for this. You know, did, did the boiler dunk? Nope. That one thing that showed up that one time and never came up again. Uh, I'll find something eventually to throw in here. I think this is on squares being the issue. Uh, yeah, it's on, it's on a weird hex grid, similar, but not too similar. But yeah, I'll find us a token for it. Until then, um, just find yourselves in. I'll move the Renard token into this little nook and cranny here. I'm going to bring back the you are here token eventually. For it, as you look round, as people come to the weather, breaks free. Captain kind of looks. What? We're here? Where you wish to be? Oh. I. Want to say good luck. As you will need it here. I can't say what you will find. But we'll be here trying to uh, fix this. As you see, there is a huge break on the hull of this boat and the beaching is the only thing that saved you from a drown mm. oh. as it were let's uh, end session here tonight because this is a whole new section that comes with a lot of loot tables not loot tables, roll tables oh, you had my hopes up <laughs> oh there's loot tables the as well but there's hey, also hey, hey, hey. roll tables Lots and lots and lots of roll tables. But yeah. <laughs>